so hello everybody i hope you all doing good i am fantastic too i'm doing good too and today i'm going to speak with you about the disadvantages of living in germany or why i hate germany so in the other video i was talking about why i love germany but today i'm going to speak about why i hate germany sometimes and these are some of the disadvantages I'm going to speak about. The bad sides of the Germany. Without wasting time, we'll start from number one, which is loneliness. So here we find that um, if you are a foreigner here, we find that um, it's very difficult for you to, to sometimes just be happy because you may have a husband here but here is not like most of the places where most of the countries or back at home where you find you are staying maybe um, in a certain place but the families of your husband are close to you so i know other people also other people have the family of their husband staying close to them but 99 percent here people don't stay like you find a brother you find in a family of three, maybe there is two sisters and one brother. One sister is staying in Netherlands, another sister is staying maybe in France, another brother is staying in Germany. Or they are all staying in Germany but in different cities. So they are always scattered, Is they don't stay in one place. In Kenya we find it very good, like um, you find in a home, it's a home of, um, of maybe three boys. All these boys have a have the houses around their father's house they may be staying in the city but at a times they come home they both have homes around but here is something different most siblings stay scattered so if you even if you are married here you will still feel lonely because sometimes when your husband is at work you just alone, there is no family from your husband's side to go to. There is no family from your side to go to. So sometimes you can find missing your family a lot in Kenya, but it's not like a walk in the park. You just wake up one day, you say, today I'm missing my mother. I'll go to visit my mother. No. So that is one thing I hate about mm -hmm. Germany. It's about loneliness. And number two, snow. One thing I hate about snow is when there is snow. When I was in Kenya, I was really wanting to come to Germany and see the snow and feel the snow. But after I came here, I found myself hating it because when snow, when it's snowing, you cannot walk. So, I mean, that by the time the snow is dropping, it's like rain. It's dropping and the place is um, all wet and it's dark. Sometimes when it's snowing, it's snowing with the wind and it's dark, so you cannot walk. And also the cars cannot cannot drive. I'll put a picture here, here or here. And to show you how the, um, during the snow days, the cars are just packed. Somebody is having a car, but he cannot use it to go to work. He have to use train because he cannot drive. It's very slippery and people normally get accident during snow. That is why they don't use the... Um, the cars to go to work during snow and even you yourself alone you cannot walk when you're walking you just have to find the places for for stepping on because you cannot st there are some places where when you step on you have to you may slide and we also have specific shoes for the snow days you don't just wear shoes anyhow leading during snow we have specific shoes for the snow that cannot make you slide so number three rain so here we have the rainy day rainy seasons when it's raining it can rain the whole week it's raining and you all guys knows when it's raining you can't do much you can't go outside you're just stuck in the house it can rain from morning to the next day non-stop and it happens for the whole week so this is what I hate about the rain in Germany. And you cannot, the bad thing about it is it happens yearly. Every year you just know this month are for the rainy season. It's raining every day, every day, non-stop. 
it can stop maybe for some few minutes or for some hours but it comes again so that is another thing i hate about rain in germany uh, the fourth thing is winter darkness starts early here in winter we find um, and also the time changes in winter in winter we i think we are two hours behind in kenya and in summer one hour behind so in winter you find the darkness starts at 17 o'clock the reason why i hate this it shortens your day so winter why are you doing this to us why are you shortening our days while other people in africa are enjoying their full day from morning until 19 o'clock to start their their darkness why are you shortening our days winter so in winter you you the darkness starts at 17 o'clock in the evening and tomorrow when you wake up in the morning sometimes you find eight o'clock it's still not very clear it's a little bit dark eight o'clock in the morning sometimes you find the business people in kenya at seven o'clock in the morning they're already on the road doing their business because it's all clear but here in winter sometimes that seven o'clock in the morning is very dark by the way the brightness starts to come around maybe 8 30 so that is another thing i hate about germany because in winter our days are shortened like you wake up at eight o'clock if you're not going to work you wake up at eight o'clock because this is the time then you can do you can go maybe anywhere you can do your things you wake up at eight o'clock in the morning then 17 o'clock your day is already finished And it's very dark by the way at the 17 o'clock. So you just have to stay home and do your things at home. Number five. Sundays all all things are closed. Um, so here we find on Sundays supermarkets are closed, streets are closed, and the, I know I mean supermarkets are closed, malls are closed, supermarkets are closed, malls are closed, restaurants are closed, streets are empty you can't go anywhere you can't do anything you can't um, you, are, you you can only stay at home so i know sundays is um, mostly the days of the church but um, where i come from on sundays even you like even if it's you know, on a sunday or on a saturday things still runs normally unless for the people that have decided to close their shops but here you have to close supermarkets. You have to shop on Friday, on Saturday, I mean. If you go to the supermarkets on week, on Saturdays on Friday, or Fridays, you find it's very full because people are shopping for them for the weekend, for the Sunday. So that is another thing I hate about um, Sunday, uh, the Sunday in Germany. If you forgot something, maybe if you have a visitors on Sunday, but you didn't buy anything on you didn't buy something special you want for the visitors so you you'll miss to entertain your visitors with what you wanted to entertain with them or maybe the, you wanted to cook a certain thing but you forgot them maybe there is something you forgot about the one of the food you forgot that is how your visitors will will not enjoy what you wanted to cook for them or you will just cook for them but you will not cook for them in a as you wanted to cook it with all the ingredients you wanted so number six christmas here christmas people stays at home by the way christmas streets are empty also people are at home we have christmas markets yeah but on 25th people stays at home we have christmas market that usually happens before the christmas i think so if i'm not wrong before christmas so that one they normally sell the decorations the this christmas decoration mm. things that you can use to decorate your house or what but on 25th or it starts from 23rd normally 23rd 24th 25th you stay at home so christmas is different from my country where on 25th we go to the streets with people drink alcohol people dance people make noise in the streets and people celebrate until night 
So here yeah, is something different. All families come together. Maybe if there is a family that the brothers and sisters are staying in different uh, cities or country, they come back together and celebrate as a family. So you just stay in the house. So Christmas is boring here. I normally celebrate my Christmas just in Facebook. Like uh, during Christmas year, I just log in in my Facebook. Then I just admire the post of the people in Africa, how they are celebrating in the streets. Like you, you can understand how Christmas is being celebrated in Africa. So in, I always celebrate my Christmas in Facebook by just seeing the post from the people from my country or from any other Africa part. I just feel happy. Like I just assume my Christmas is celebrated by just seeing in Facebook pictures. So another thing, number seven is about um, uh, make neighbors, neighbors or friendship. Let me say, here you find you have a neighbor, like you can find the three neighbors in a home of of three houses near around, but you all don't even know each other's names. You can find apartment, a big apartment, a, a big apartment, maybe holding. 12 families, but all of you don't know each other's names. You only meet outside at the entrance, at the main entrance, and only say hello, hello. But you, you don't even have any information about someone's family or someone's life. Because here we, the, we stay, uh, like people are too much from different countries. We have foreigners from all over the world here. And in this apartment, you may find in this apartment or in this neighborhood, all people are from different countries. Another ones are from France, Italy, where, where, where. So, I the, that is the one of another thing I hate about here, because in Kenya you find when you 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 like you know everybody staying around you and they know you also. So here you can have a problem, but your neighbor doesn't know the, what you are going through. And another thing also in Kenya, you go outside, you just step outside of where you're staying and all people knows you. All people knows you, but here you step outside, nobody even knows you. Nobody knows you because people are so busy doing their things. You can, it's even hard to see people in the... Um, in the neighboring streets because like today now people are at work they come in the evening they're at home so it's a busy country and it's uh you it's very hard to see people maybe you can see people in the town but here around the neighborhood it's very hard to see anybody so you can find you are staying here but you don't have uh you you going to, you have to find for a friend from another city or from from in your city but few kilometers away from you but you are leaving your neighbors here to just go to find a friend from another city reason being you don't have contact with the neighbors not just because you you don't want to have with them even them they don't want to they, they have nothing to do with you they they don't care about anybody's life they only care about, people people care about their lives that is what i can say here So even me, I don't know the name of my neighbors and they don't know my name. We only meet outside and just say hello. So when I meet them, I just know this person is coming from my neighborhood, but I don't know what is his or her name. Number eight. Number eight is all eyes are on you. All eyes are on you. So here, as you know, when you are a black person in Germany, you have to know, like, you feel like you are, you are one fish in the lake. The reason I'm saying this is because everybody, everybody is white, just you, you are black. I know we have also, we have many blacks in Germany, but I mean, like when you can find they're not so much this is same like when a white person comes to kenya he will look like one fish in the lake so this happened this is this is the same thing here when you're black 
So sometimes you go to the supermarket. Normally when you go to the supermarket, you, you find yourself you are the only black inside the supermarket, by the way. Or even sometimes you go to the mall, you are only black in the mall. So you go to the mall or you go to the supermarket. So people are lining up, waiting to reach at the cashier's place. But all eyes are on you. They are not looking at you with bad eyes, but you, you, you try to turn around, you try to turn around, all eyes are looking at you. So until, until you, you maybe start thinking, until you start thinking, I wish I carried my, my ducks, my summer ducks at least, because for me or for a lot of people, when you have your ducks, you don't get you don't care or you don't get afraid when the person is looking at you. So it's you find it so frustrating when you're in the supermarket, people all people are looking at you, you are in the mall, people look like it makes you not feel comfortable. And even sometimes you are in the restaurant, restaurants also normally you find you're only black in the restaurant. So you are eating and all people are looking at you. And here in summer, I'm sorry, white guys, but white but I, white guys or white people, but I have to say this. And you all know it's true. So here in summer, people normally walk with ducks because it's very, sunglasses because it's very hot. So you're in the restaurant, you are eating, or uh, normally in, in summer, people normally eat outside in the restaurant. There are some restaurants that have chairs outside. You are eating, but you try to turn around, you try to, to maybe to look at the other side, you find everybody looking at, and they are having sunglasses on. So, and the bad thing about the white people, when they are looking at you, with the, once they have put their ducks, let me just bring my ducks to, to tell you how they do it. So guys, I brought my sunglasses just to tell you how they are looking at you in the restaurant when you are eating. You cannot even finish to eat what you are eating because when people are looking at you, you even get a break. But guys, I didn't say they are looking at you with bad eyes. No, they are just looking at you. Maybe they are admiring you or something. It's good to admire, but to some extent. This is how they look at you with the glasses. So did you just see how they look at you with the glasses? Hmm? Oh, I look very good with these glasses. I'm not removing them. So that is how they look at you. And sometimes you find yourself not be not able to finish your food because you don't feel comfortable when somebody is looking at you. But whites, I'm not saying it's bad. Even us in Africa, that is how we look at you when you come to Africa. That is how we look at you when you come to Africa. But it's not just the same way you don't feel comfortable when people are looking at you in Africa. That is the same way we don't feel comfortable when you are looking at us here. So you should, okay, looking at us is not bad, but to some extent. Also, we have summer events, by the way, they, that this is another thing. Summer events that makes you be one of them fish in the lake. Events here we sit outside. We have the benches where we sit outside and some events happens. People are looking at you madly, madly. You don't like you have to leave the place and go and search for another place at least where you can see people that people cannot look at you and at least you be comfortable. When you go to another place, they're still looking at you. So for me in summer, I always walk with my sunglasses and after I sit like this, I don't care even if you're looking at me because my eyes are closed. So guys, these are some of the disadvantages of living in Germany also, the ones I just said. So whites, don't come for me and beat me. I said you are looking at us not with um, bad intentions, 
maybe you admire us but i advise you to look at us with some extent because to some extent you make us sometimes feel uncomfortable so bye subscribe to my channel So another thing I hate about Germany is how East Europeans behave in Germany. They behave like this is their land, like they, they own Germany. I know a lot of you African people or African ladies have, have experienced this from the East Europeans. I'm not saying all, but most of them, they own, they think Germany is their land. So, and they like, they are the ones that own the most racism part in the Germany also. If I'm not wrong, if you are supporting this, tell me in the comment. If you are living in Germany and you, have, you, you are supporting this. Wow. So there is a time I was working and I, of course you can know this is, this is not a German, this is a East Europe. You can know with them, you just know. You just know what I'm talking about. You can differentiate this is a white person from East Europe, not from East. This is not a German. So I was walking and I found some men. I don't know they were Turkish men, I think. Yeah, they look like they look like Turkish men. So I'm walking, I'm going to the supermarket, then this person just did this to me. <laughs> This was the worst day of my life. Like how can somebody how can somebody do for you that? How can somebody do that to you? Somebody you don't even know. Somebody that don't even know you. He did that to me and he continued walking on his way. And these East European people, even if you are walking and you are pregnant, you want to pass the road. Normally, at the zebra, zebra crossing, the cars have to stand for you to pass. These people, when you are pregnant or when you are having a baby, here we push babies with kindergarten with them trolley. We don't carry babies on our on our back or we don't carry babies in our arms when we are walking. You push babies. These people, when you are pushing the babies and you want to, to cross the zebra crossing, they don't stand for you and the zebra crossing is normally meant for us to pass. They should, zebra crossing normally, when you're walking, the driver should normally stop and you pass. The East Europeans have a certain, they have a very dirty mind here in Germany. Another day I was walking, then uh, another I met also one East European, he was smoking. So I, he was smoking, and when he was smoking, and this man was smoking, then this man just blowed the, the, the smoke towards me, like. So imagine I'm passing, um, we were walking like this, so he's walking and I'm also here. So after he smoked this, the cigarette, then he just blew the smoke to me. Who does that? Who does that to a stranger? You don't even know. Can we even do that to you when you come to Kenya? Can we do that to you? So I know not, not only me, but a lot of African women or men have experienced the worst from this um, East European. Another day I was also walking and there were two men walking, East Europeans walking. And I just heard they say something about me. I didn't understand because they were speaking their language. They didn't speak German. These people have that idea of when you are walking and they pass you, they are speaking something against you. And then they are looking... They speak something against you, then maybe they, they laugh as they walk or that is East Europeans, you must stop that. Stop that. Don't come, don't think Germany is your own country and you can rule everybody here. 
you came from your country you come here now you get a, a better place you think you, you own everything you can you can do anything for the people as you want or you can rule anything like you want i'm very mad why do you behave like you own a life you idiots